Hello and welcome to my dedicated West Vancouver page. My name is Dave McInez and I'm a realtor with McDonald Realty. And today I'd like to review what's transpired in the second quarter of 2024 in the West Vancouver housing market. Let's go and have a look and see what happened. With regards to detached homes, there were 121 homes that sold in the second quarter of 2024. That's up 30.1% from the 93 that we saw in the first quarter of this year. On average, those 121 homes sold for $3,646,912. That's up 3.1% from the first quarter of this year. And the average dollar per square foot was $994. That's up 5.6% from the $942 we saw in the first quarter of this year. On average, the 121 homes sold at 106.8% of their 2024 assessed value and 95.3% of their last list price. The homes were on the market for an average of 44 days. That's much shorter than the 68 days in the first quarter of this year. And there were 532 new listings on the market in West Vancouver. That's up significantly from the 371 that we saw in the first quarter of this year. The lowest price home to sell in West Vancouver sold for $1.69 million in Lions Bay. And the most expensive home to sell in West Vancouver in the second quarter sold in Altamont for $14,750,000. With regards to condos, the number of properties that sold in the second quarter of this year was up 134.4%. However, the average sale price per condo was down 3.6%. Ironically, the average dollar per square foot was up 4.2%. On average, it took 29 days for those condos to sell in the second quarter, and the number of new listings for condos in West Vancouver was up 56% in the second quarter. The lowest purchase price for a condo in the second quarter was $421,500 and the most expensive condo to sell in West Vancouver in the second quarter sold for $9 million. With regards to townhomes, the number of properties that sold was up 100% and just like condos, the average sale price for a townhouse was down 11% and the average dollar per square foot, ironically, was up 16.6%. It took 25 days on average for those townhomes to sell, and the number of new listings was up 42.1%. The lowest purchase price for a townhouse in West Vancouver was $980,000, and the most expensive townhouse to sell in West Vancouver in the second quarter sold for $3,300,000. If you have any questions about the West Vancouver housing market, or if you or anyone you know is interested in either buying or selling in West Vancouver, please touch base. I'd be more than happy to help any way that I can. Thanks for watching.